Improved water supply and sanitation, as well as better management of water resources, have been identified as capable of boosting the country's economic growth and contributes greatly to poverty reduction. This was the concession at the 2024 International Water Conference held in Abuja. ADB and correspondent Ekai Tebut, who covered the conference, reports. Safe and readily available water is important for public health, whether it is used for drinking, domestic use, food production, or recreational purposes. Research has shown that contaminated water and poor sanitation are linked to transmission of diseases such as cholera, diarrhea, dysentery, hepatitis, typhoid, and polio. Recent outbreaks of diarrhea in parts of the country have been linked to waterborne source. In some parts of the country, especially the rural areas, the quality of water cannot always be guaranteed. This is because standards are not maintained by all the players in the space. In a mission to address contaminated water and its related problems, stakeholders converged to chart the way forward for access and quality water. Speaking of the occasion, former First Lady Dame Patience Jonathan, who was represented by her chief protocol, Pebawi Delphine, said the conference is timely as it seeks a roadmap towards addressing pertinent issues geared towards improving access to safe water with a view to alleviating waterborne diseases. The conference could not have come at a more auspicious time than this when the Nigerian nation is plagued with the outbreak of waterborne diseases such as diarrhea, dysentery, typhoid, and other diseases which in the last three months have other have claimed the lives of mostly the vulnerable populations, including women, children, men, and the elderly. It is not uncommon to find millions still struggling with poor water quality, inadequate sanitation facilities, and the devastating consequences of waterborne diseases. Director of FCT Primary Health Care Board, Dr. Rukaya Wamako, stated need for access and quality water cannot be overemphasized as it plays a vital role in primary health care. Other stakeholders who bore their minds at the event added that the outbreak of most waterborne diseases in the country could be prevented if people have access to quality water. The whole essence of the Beyond Access Quality Matters Conference is to bring quality to the table, so that uh, more than uh, the discussion around access, which has been ongoing for years, we need people to understand that without quality in the access, that is waterborne disease. That is uh, all kinds of diseases and infirmities, and we don't need that. So it is, a bit, but it is not just the responsibility of government to provide quality water. There needs to be uh, community participation and ownership. And so this, this is more like a, a PPP call, mm. so that we as, as, as individuals and the communities can join hands with government and the agencies to be vanguards of water quality in our communities. The post-conference activity that we're going to have, which is more campaigns in the local environment, more campaigns, dragging the government to do what she's supposed to do and then for individuals like us and organizations, non-profit organizations to support in making sure that the health of our people are good in the area of not just having access to water but having quality water supply everywhere in Nigeria and across Africa. The conference also attracted community and religious leaders. The theme of the conference is Beyond Access, Quality Matters. Ikaite Ibut, ADBN News.